The MLB's almost back. Well, maybe. In these crazy times, you just never know. But the 60-game regular season scheduled to start in less than two weeks. What better way to prepare for it than the I-70 series? Today, the Cardinals and Royals officially announced an exhibition game for July 22nd at Busch Stadium. Cardinals reliever Jordan Hicks won't play in that game or any games this year. He's decided to opt out of the season. Hicks has type 1 diabetes and would be at a higher risk for COVID-19 complications. He's also coming off Tommy John surgery. Hicks posted a 3.14 ERA and had 14 saves last season. Obviously, this is subject to change, but for now, the MLB is still looking at July 23rd as opening day, with the Cardinals set to host the Pirates on July 24th. High school baseball action, Blair Oaks didn't get to defend its state title this year, but the Falcons finishing summer ball with a flourish. They scored seven runs in the first, picking things up when we got there in the second. Look at this nice double play turn for Mexico, but Gavin Weckenberg scores a four-run second, made it 11-0. Harrison Lear tossed four scoreless innings. Blair Oaks wins big 11-0. More high school baseball, Harrisburg missed out on some incredible opportunities because of COVID-19. But as I show you, the Bulldogs senior class is still going out on top. <laughs> Harrisburg baseball was hoping to make the final four in 2020, but COVID-19 canceled those plans. The team also lost out on a chance to play at Bush Stadium, something coach Chris Ackman planned for his seniors. Ackman played there as a high school senior in 1999. It was a fun experience. You know, I remember having a couple of bats and playing third base and first base you know, at Bush Stadium. And just, you know, my family was there to watch and got some pictures. You know, it's just one of those things that you're, you're going to remember for the rest of your life. You know, we all talked to you like, this is going to be so much fun. We're so ready to be a lifetime Cardinals fans. It's really tough because, like, you dreamed to... Uh play there one day you know it's tough I was really looking forward to it of course uh, we, we put in the work to raise the money to go there um, just unfortunately it didn't work out the Harrisburg seniors missed out on an opportunity of a lifetime to play at Bush Stadium but the future is bright with three future college players Jonah Sanford will play at William Jewell while Braden Hudson's headed to Missouri Western both division two schools and Dustin Gibson will play in junior college at North Central Missouri a high school of just 161 students, but three future college baseball players. You know, there's not a ton of kids that have gone through Harrisburg that have gotten a chance to play college baseball. So having three in one class and, you know, all of us being best friends, it's a, it's a big deal. And we take a lot of pride in it. It's really special because that's what you dream about, you know, going to the next level. It was really special. Um, I knew all growing up playing with these guys, but we all played together and really worked on it and really worked hard to get where we are. It's a program builder, you know, it's getting used for the upcoming kids. Say, hey, look, these three, the work they put in. A legendary senior class leaving a lasting legacy and finishing with the winning record in summer ball. From the diamond to the ice, the NHL season resumes in about three weeks. Again, if things go well, the defending champion Blues back on the ice starting training camp. St. Louis activating star Vladimir Tarasenko from the injured list today. The Blues have the top record in the Western Conference, but they'll have to play in a round-robin format against the Avalanche, Golden Knights, and Stars to determine the top four playoff seeds in the Western Conference. They start that August 2nd against Colorado. All those games we played in Edmonton, Canada. You might remember the Blues posting that impressive road record on their way to the Stanley Cup last year. They're confident they can win anywhere. This is a professional group. This is a mature group. Like you said, we've had success on the road, even in the playoffs. So we know uh, we know how to treat this. We know how to prepare. And uh, a little bit different, but um, when you're confident playing in a, in a different building, uh, makes this thing a little bit easier to get into. All NHL playoff games will take place in Canada with the Eastern Conference teams playing in Toronto and the Western Conference in Edmonton. The Conference Finals and Stanley Cup Final will also be in Edmonton.
And finishing with NFL news, the Redskins logo you see behind me won't exist anymore. The team officially dropped the name today. Washington had been known as the Redskins for the past 87 years. They haven't decided yet on a new name. That's sports.